what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to talk about the chances of us going to a different town other than just sticking to woodsboro uh in scream 5 i know we only really had a film in woodsboro for scream and scream 4 scream 2 and scream 3 scream 2 is at windsor college we don't actually know where that was at actually um i don't i don't think they state if it's in california or not we know Scream 3 was in Hollywood, which is in Los Angeles, California, in the Los Angeles area. Um, and then speaking with Scream 5, we very well could see a movie step out of California where we venture out into a new state and a new town. Now, however, I'm a little bit skeptical about this just because of the fact that we know the, the movie is going to be shooting in Wilmington, North Carolina later this year. And just to get into that, that area actually looks like Woodsboro. It looks like a lot of different uh, establish, establishing shots could be made in that town to go back to Woodsboro. So I'm pretty certain that this is where the film will take place back in Woodsboro again. But I want to talk about just let's say we are in a different town just for the sake of this video. Let's say that we venture out into a new town where we have a brand new set of characters. We're not going to be focusing primarily on Sidney Prescott, Dewey Riley, and Gail Weathers. We're going to be focusing on a new group of new group of teens or new group of adults, young adults who are in a, a similar predicament where somebody has has picked up the shtick of going around this going around this neighborhood. Uh, killing people in the disguise of Ghostface, something that's very popular in the pop culture, of course, with the Stab series in this in this world, and they're just basically being a copycat of real life events that happened to Sidney Prescott. Let's say something tragic happens in the town, like a few local teens or a few local girls, or somebody gets killed in the in the town that's probably not too far from Woodsboro. Let's say this is set in a let's say it just a different state I'm, for, I'm gonna say it's set in michigan perhaps set in michigan and we we find out that this this kill this kill that happened in michigan is just something that that hits the news on almost every every state it's like a very big thing that happened uh the residents in woodsboro get note of this dewey sydney and gail they feel inclined to travel out and venture out to kind of lend their help to the town and try to see what's going on here and then of course in the very end just when we think that this has nothing to do with Sydney Prescott of course Sydney's gonna be right there in the thick of things maybe we meet a a new lead character and a new young teen teen uh teen girl or again could be a young adult woman who I want to say let's say she's portrayed by Tysa Farmiga uh who I think is an amazing actress I I actually think she's I wouldn't say she's better than her sister uh vera farmiga I, I just think tyson farmiga if she was in a scream series i could see her pulling it off as a new sydney type of character or even samara weaving uh but we meet a new protagonist sydney meets this new protagonist this new woman that we're going to be following and hopefully will carry us into the future of the franchise past scream six and sydney is trying to help this help this girl figure out who's causing these killings in the town sydney kind of is a counselor she's in like a counselor role for this for this woman dewey of course comes comes to the area maybe because he was brought in by the police department in that in the state of michigan in that area they requested that he be brought in to help them investigate this because it has to do with another ghost face killing spree that he has plenty of knowledge about it because he's gone through this four times they ask him to bring in anyone he wants to for backup he he decides he wants to bring in of course his his wife who i'm assuming is still going to be gail weathers if they haven't gotten a divorce in the film yet and then he also brings in his friend sydney prescott who is very familiar with ghostface killing sprees because she was the target of them four specific times and there's a whole film series regarding her whole her whole life <laughs> uh they go to that town we're getting to know a brand new set of characters and just when we think that this has nothing to do with sydney of course in the very end while she's here being like a counselor to these kids and trying to help this new young lady figure out what's going on and who's terrorizing her the motives of the killers are revealed it has very much something to do with sydney um and again i'm gonna say this is quite possibly gonna be yes another person who wasn't wasn't someone who had a grudge against sydney but they they basically they basically like catch wind of the fact that she was in town if the ghostface killer let's say whoever ghostface was they caught caught wind of course that sydney's in town and maybe they have some type of history or type of gripe with sydney that they want to that they want to settle since she decided to bring bring herself to town and 
we find out that this has something to do very much with Sydney. Maybe Sydney has wronged this person in the past somehow. Uh, and then, of course, we find out that that's the connection with Sydney to this new story. Because essentially what this is, is like a soft reboot. We don't have a, a story without Dewey, Sydney, and Gale. But Dewey, Sydney, and Gale are not going to be right there like they're not the they're not going to be the front the front end of this story because it's going to be set in a different town other than woodsboro the killer isn't primarily targeting sydney prescott the killer just starts to target sydney because sydney decided to show up in town um and then of course we find out in the end like i was mentioning that the killer has a gripe with sydney maybe he was wronged by her in the past or if it's a she maybe he or she were wronged by sydney in the past maybe they have a prior history with sydney prescott maybe they went to high school with her maybe something from college maybe something from this whole maybe there maybe something from this whole book something some backlash from her book uh just something to think about in regards to us having a scream a scream five where it is taking place after scream four but we're shifting focus away from our three central characters while they're still primarily there in the thick of things it's not going to be just about sydney this time it's going to be about some 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 other girl or some other young let's say actually we actually even what if we have a young a young male a young teen male who's our new role in the sydney role he could be the one getting targeted by ghostface sydney's trying to help figure out what happened dewey of course is trying to help the police department solve the case gail weathers is there basically just because again if if gail weathers isn't her isn't sydney's or not sydney's but dewey's husband still in screen five i don't see the point of her really being there uh other than the fact that she might just be there to collect a story she's back to her old tricks again um just like how she was in scream 2 how she tr she traveled to windsor college uh to get the scoop on everything uh but i think that would be a really interesting take to have a scream series set in a different town where we're focusing on different characters focusing on the same type of idea where we have a ghost face killer who's doing the ghost the ghost face shtick that we all know and love uh roger l jackson's back reprising the voice of Ghostface, but it's just we're not it's not gonna be all about Sydney this time. It's about something something different besides just Sydney. Sydney, of course, would end up being tied into it, but the story isn't just gonna be focusing on our three central characters that we all are very familiar with. Because again, as I made clear in my last video, Scream needs to make something out of its supporting cast outside of just having them there to just be killed off by ghostface and having one of them be ghostface and they never we never see them again and a lot of you may mention in the comment section that we have plenty of characters from previous films who could appear i made mention of that in the video i wasn't saying there aren't plenty of surviving characters that who that could return it's just that none of them have it's like none of them have ever been in a been in a screen movie and then we've seen them in the sequel we've seen them in the next subsequent sequel so like Detective Kincaid, I would have been great to see him in Scream 4. Then we could have gotten him back in Scream 5, Scream 6. Uh, Cotton Weary, I know he was killed. Randy Meeks, like stuff like that. Uh, some other characters like Joel that I brought mention of. Joel isn't isn't dead. It would have been nice to see him in Scream 3 still being Gail's cameraman. If that was even a even still an ongoing relationship that they had, they could have constructed something like that. Like, just just stop killing off the supporting cast and not bringing anyone back. And then we have Kirby Reed, who I hope is involved in this. Kirby could be involved. She's back in the town, of course, because... Actually, let's say Kirby, Kirby moved to Michigan. And I know the synopsis says a young woman returns to her hometown after a series of vicious crimes. Uh, Woodsboro isn't Kirby's hometown, so the, the young woman wouldn't be Kirby. And I, I don't really think it specifies if the woman is young or not. I just think it's that a lot of these news outlets are throwing in that young woman thing. I think they're just throwing... I think with the real synopsis that I believe got first reported by Discussing Films is that a woman returns to her, home, her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes. Uh, doesn't necessarily describe him as young, but a lot of news outlets took that and started throwing in that young woman scenario. So Kirby doesn't have to be this young woman, but let's say Kirby moved to the Michigan State and we have Tysa Farmiga or Samara Weaving, somebody who is a up and young, up upcoming actress who a lot of people are behind in the horror community. And they are our new central character. They return to their hometown after after this uh vicious crime that happened at the beginning of screen five and then of course we would then venture out to bringing in dewey sydney gale we're getting to know a new set of characters this time around we're not just focusing on the original main trio 
because of the simple fact that Spyglass might want to venture out and do things past Scream 6, or they might not even want to do Kevin Williamson's original plans. They might just want to do their own thing. Um, I hope they have some type of type of script that has to do with what Kevin Williamson originally planned for Scream 5. Doesn't necessarily have to be in college, but maybe they got some insight from him and they're going to tweak their script a bit to fit what he had in mind for his screen five i don't know what what all kevin williamson's influence is going to be on this i i, I can't wait to, wait to see what the final product is going to be based off a of trailer get some official details regarding the cast but i really think a screen movie set in a different town of woodsboro would be a different change of scene would be a nice thing to see uh we've seen it before but it wasn't it wasn't in like another small town it was just in hollywood or we were at college like i want to see us have a woodsboro type of deal going on but it's not in woodsboro we're in a different step a different town different state and ghostface someone has picked up the ghostface stick and now we have our cast members back to help bring a stop to it to help figure out what's going on in the town uh but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next